in the silence of this moment and the sacredness of this day we remember battles fought in foreign places with exotic names Peleliu in Okinawa, Kasserine and Bastogne, Inchon in the Chosin Reservoir, Kaysan in the Asha, Fallujah, Kandahar. We remember more than the wars fought. We remember the people who served with us. Tomorrow is the day which began as Armistice Day, a celebration of peace. I can honestly say the time that I have spent as a member of the United States military is the best of my life. Even after I leave military service, I will forever hold that close to me. For all those veterans and families and members here today, thank you for your service. I share the pride you feel in being able to count yourself among that 1%, the United States military, the greatest military in the world. Our veterans bring many skills to a table, technical skills that they learned in the military, strong leadership, ability to work under pressure, accountability, and they have a very strong basic core of values that are valuable to all employers. But some veterans need higher education degrees to increase their marketability and give them a competitive edge. With the new outreach model, we also invite all public and private higher education institutions to come to veterans and show their veteran programs that they offer in their schools and to assist them with the GI Bill process. Last November, Governor Haslam created the Veteran Education Task Force, where I was privileged to serve with a committed group of individuals to identify hurdles that veterans face when they're on campus. Job training, higher education, business resources will all lead veterans to an exciting next chapter in their lives. Well, tomorrow is Veterans Day. We in Tennessee, need to do more to make sure that every day is Veterans Day. Commissioner Grinder talked about making every day in Tennessee Veterans Day and we have a head start on doing that. As Commissioner Grinder said, uh, about 4,500 state employees uh, are veterans. So over 10%, about 11 or 12% of our total state employees are veterans. In the state's population, there's six and a half million Tennesseans, over 500,000 veterans. So. All, you know, seven, eight, nine percent of Tennesseans are also veterans, way ahead of the national average. I had the chance to be in Afghanistan a month or so ago. You don't go anywhere where our military is on duty anywhere around the world and not run into an abundance of Tennesseans. It's part of who we are and it's part of who we always have been. Our leadership in the state is that way as well. You just met Commissioner Grinders. He's a 35-year Army veteran. Started when you were six or seven. I can't remember. One of those two. Uh, Dr. Dreisner of the Department of Health is an Air Force veteran. Commissioner Jim Henry of, of Children's Services is a Vietnam vet who served in the Navy. Uh, Correction Commissioner Derek Schofield is here. Derek uh, is an Army veteran. Commissioner Doug Var Varney of Mental Health is an Army veteran. Commissioner Burns Phillips of Labor Workforce Development is an Army veteran. I think you see the point I'm making. In Tennessee, uh, we're a state that has always and I think always will. Uh, volunteer to do more than our share for the country. We take seriously that responsibility and I'll say this before I sit down, Commissioner Grinder talked about our Veterans Education Task Force. It's our goal not just to recognize those who have served for our country but to help them uh, increase their education attainment and find those opportunities and we have a group of folks who have been committed to doing that on the task force and finding very specific ways to increase those opportunities. So on behalf of all Tennesseans for those here today and those around the globe serving still. Uh, we appreciate your service to our country. Thank you. Charles serves the Mid-Cumberland region as a family service worker for two specialized programs, Special Immigration Juvenile Status and the Division of Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. Mr. Butts ensures that detailed information is gathered to support the needs of our custodial children and further their success as they transition to adult services in the community. Mr. Butts served 22 years as a Master Sergeant in the United States Army at Fort Campbell, Fort Stewart, Hawaii, and Germany. He also served the National Guard as an advisor in New Mexico, and he's retired from the service in 1995 and began his career with the Department of Children's Services in the Mid-Cumberland Office in the year 2000. Michelle Earhart is currently the Assistant Director of Statewide Accounting at the Department of Finance and Administration. 
Michelle has worked in various roles at FNA and at the Office of the Comptroller during her 13 years of service to the state of Tennessee. Before she began her state career, Senior Airman Earhart served in the U.S. Air Force from 1991 to 1994, including deployment to Southwest Asia. This year, Michelle was named president of the local chapter of the Association of Government Accountants and has received the group's Emerging Leader Award of Excellence. We are proud to have Michelle in our FNA family and the state government community. She made a selfless contribution to her country and she continues to make valuable contributions to the citizens of the state of Tennessee. Michael Hogan serves currently as Director of Driver License Issuance in the Department of Safety and Homeland Security. He has worked for the department for more than 10 years in his current role and previously as the Director of Strategic Planning. Corporal Hogan served in Operation Desert Storm in 1990 and 1991 in the United States Marine Corps and in the United States Marine Corps Reserves from May 1987 to May 1993. As a veteran, Michael knows how important it is for veterans to be able to easily identify themselves without carrying their, their discharge papers. As Director of Driver License Issuance, he was instrumental in implementing the veteran designation of Tennessee driver licenses and identification cards. Buddy Hooks is in charge of our enforcement division at the Department of Revenue. Buddy's group is charged with the responsibility of bringing in those dollars that don't come voluntarily. <laughs> Buddy's group last year returned 17 times what it cost to run his operation and has been with the enforcement division since he started. He now heads up that division and has graciously agreed to delay his retirement a year to, bring, to implement yet another new program within our group. Buddy is what it's all about when it comes to public service. Four years in the Marine Corps, 40 plus years for the state of Tennessee. Michael May is currently serving as the Chief of the Information Technology Division with the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. First Sergeant May served in the United States Air Force and continues to serve with the Air Force National Guard. Michael has consistently demonstrated leadership, enthusiasm, creativity, and innovation in meeting the needs of customers and transforming the TWRA. So much so that the Tennessee Wildlife Officers Association presented Michael with the President's Award for outstanding customer service to the employees of the TWRA. He and his team have developed TWRA's mobile app that allows Tennessee, Tennesseans to buy hunting and fishing licenses and renew boat registrations from almost anywhere. Currently over 65,000 subscribers have enrolled in that application. His staff also developed an online budgeting system that saves time, eliminates paper forms, and automatically compiles and summarizes more than 400 projects. And we're very proud of Michael and all of our TWRA veterans. Larry Maxwell is currently serving as Assistant Commissioner with the Tennessee Department of Agriculture. He has worked for the department for 43 years and his roles also include budget officer. First Lieutenant Maxwell served in the United States Army as a finance and accounting officer at Anniston Army Depot in Anniston, Alabama from 1969 to 1971. While at Anniston, he was responsible for the accounting functions that supported the tank repair munitions storage facility during the Vietnam War. The discipline and organization skills he learned while in the service led to an exemplary 43-year career with the state as Chief Financial Officer and Assistant Commissioner for Agriculture, serving under 12 commissioners and seven administrations. But, uh, this is a song about anyone that served in a combat zone. I wrote it with my cousin, and uh, unfortunately, he recently actually tried to commit suicide. But uh, it wasn't his time, but he's still struggling, and this is called a simple life. I'm 
song with me The simple life 